Hey there folks, this is David on David's Brain. Welcome back to our ongoing Let's Play of Control for the PS4 on PS5. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, contribute by Patreon, links in the description of the bottom, stay inside, stay safe, for our mask, get vaccinated. Alright, so last time we've uh, stumbled into the investigation sector at the behests of Mr. Uh, Mr. Alan Wake. And yeah, just like Alan, we are now in a very dark, very damp place filled with super strong hiss. All right, yeah, just uh, yeah, it's been recommended that I go actually take care of this DLC like after I complete the main story, but yeah, I just want to I just want to poke in there as far as I can, you know, and also get some uh, some of the exclusive goodies around here. If anything, just so I can go and get myself some trophies quicker. And yeah, since the enemies here are, are so freaking tough. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, definitely gonna uh, definitely gonna need to be uh, uh, be coming in with both guns blazing. And definitely gonna need a light. Oh, and there's mold! Spectacular! Yeah, mold on top of everything else. This is just spectacular. I see a shattered facet. Oh, I oh I need a confiscated motive. Okay.
Orange Peel, Orange Peel, baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that the same song that Dilla was going on about that the Hiss are apparently singing? Oh, so much for that idea. Ah. Oh, great. So you're just sending this mutated Hartman monster after me? Thanks, Alan! Nothing ordinary about Faden. Heh. <laughs> Cute.
Reminder, all employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Thank you for your attention. Is it going to stop? Reminder. Oh. All employees are. Oh, I thought it just kept going. All right, never mind. Well, apartment's hiding here in the darkness. We're gonna need to flush him out. Let's see. NASA Cooperation Review. Let's see. Following the NASA FBC quarter, uh, uh, following the NASA FBC coordination agreement in 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the Black Rock Lane, now found in all spacefaring uh, space vessels. In return, all data gathered during space missions is, ma is made available for Bureau researchers to, anal uh, to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised a concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the far outweighs any spending related to the processing and delivery of Black Rock. From its medium Earth orbit, the will provide the Bureau with an unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites, a resource that will be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of this committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. So yeah, big ol' eye in the sky, eh? Mm, Black Market. Compiled by David Gleason by order of Rennie De uh, Remy Dennis. Let's see. A black market hub specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other associated ceremonial objects, as well as genuine alternate and paranatural materials, was raided in the Czech Republic by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern is threefold. 1. 
uh, there is a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. Two, these criminal behaviors do not seem to be aware of the uh, these criminal individuals do not seem aware of the items' paranatural powers, and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. And three, the motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. Ati. Go make some new friends. All right, well, I already cleared out the mold. I see Jesse helps Ati by eradicating the mold growth of various parts of the investigation sector, eliminating the darkness of the darkness, and giving the plants some much needed sunlight. Let's see, interrogation complaint. Kirkland, would you... Uh, Kirkland, so you put me on desk duty just because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do? My job? Wanna know what I call that? Bullshit! Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life. I don't have some fucking stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more. And they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words try not to leak classified terminology. And I already know the fucking terminology. If you think putting me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people, only to make a train turn altered. Uh, we have him dead to rights, and you need to let me back in that inter interrogation cell so I can get him to flip out his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension. See if that slows me down. Agent Hewitt. Hmm. Agent Fisher, day six inside the hotel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire, triggering a flash camera across the main entrance, even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best, but mostly just inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted, sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how exactly. I, uh, I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I could hear the call bell going ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've, I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think, wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this, gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck, cooperate. Okay, there we go. All right, that was faint, but I definitely heard a movement coming from the hallway. I think I might have finally caught one. <laughs> the recording better work 
this time, or I swear to God, I'll... What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... Yeah, I don't exactly think that the ocean view likes anybody poking in at its business. Yeah, they should just learn, to, yeah, the classic case of fucking around and finding out. Let's see, Eagle Limited Summary, AWE-44, let's see, May 25th, 2015, Bloomington, Illinois. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that guy that I was talking about before, that, with that paranatural terrorist. A train derailment, let's see, the Eagle Limited. A train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a parallel criminal group known as Blessed. Oh, let's see. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory effect. It, it remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or, direct, or the direct result of the sabotage. Event response. The Bureau had been tracking said group at the time, and the intel gathered, uh, intel gathered suggested an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. As a result, a response team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. And The Shadow Compiled by Erza Cruz by order of William Kirkland. Paranatural, enti uh, Paranatural entity A-010, uh, aka The Shadow, is an aggressive consisting of three known types. Type A, localized manifestations of sentient, uh, capable of occupying organic and inorganic material as well as exerting over its surroundings. Type B, shaded individuals. Human bodies uh, by The Shadow. These individuals have become noticeably more aggressive, but do seem to retain of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Type C, shaded objects. Similar to Type B, except that inanimate objects are solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, see AWE-35, which may imply a shared link to a, a malevolent intelligence. The threat this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive slash defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional laying sources, some internally powered, to prepare for the eventuality of an evasion. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even 
created. With Wink now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. And yeah, speaking of someone in a round and finding out. Yeah, Harmon wanted to learn about the darkness, and I'd say he got that in bed somewhere. All right, this should flush out Hartman. Oh great, now there's airborne hiss. Well, let's see, Dr. Hartman's notes on the darkness. And yeah, airborne hiss rangers. Let's see, the subgroup of hiss corrupted rangers has manifested the ability to levitate. They are similarly to hiss elevated agents. However, these airborne hiss rangers display no telekinetic abilities and simply continue to use Monday Bureau weaponry. This evolution, being so similar to the elevated, possibly indicates that hiss can share permutations through a type of network or perhaps osmosis. The elevated? However, the fact that this development in hiss rangers has only been observed in the investigation sector may indicate that an environmental factor is responsible. They could be responding to an altered item or other paranatural element found only in that sector. Yeah, the darkness. Or perhaps this is the natural progression of the Hiss Ranger phenotype. Not enough time has passed to determine a conclusive trajectory of development for each of the Hiss manifestations, assuming any such trajectory exists. Oh, yeah, the elevated hiss. Right. Yeah, those guys. Rosie Service Ducks, Eagle Limited AWE, Utility Corridor. Operations Corridor. And the abandoned offices. Alright, so shine light on plants. Ah, here we are. Surge. Let's see, more confiscated boys and shaded facets.
Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't that feel better? Ah, okay, there we go. Yeah, it's just like the little potted plants before. Let's see, where are those little plants? to the land of the living, little buddy. Yeah, now these definitely seem to be a lot better hidden.
And I think I lost my flashlight. There you are. All right, should be one more to go in the abandoned offices. Ah, here you go. All right, there should be some pl at least two more plants here in operations. I think the rest of the plants might be further up. Yeah, this barely helps.
Nah, that's not it. Ah! Oh, wow, I'm dumb. I get the feeling that I'll be able to explore this once I've uh, shined a light on this situation here. Let's see, Hartman background. Let's see. Uh, Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center in Colt. Uh, uh, let's see, in. Uh, what was it again? Uh, oh yeah, at Bright Falls, Washington, focused on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Publicly, Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent uh, psychic abilities they may possess uh, in the aim of shaping uh, to his own benefit, or it's earned him a Class II paracriminal designation. Note, for more on the link between artists and their ability to reality through artistic medium, see file... Investigation has proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the uh, during the Alan Wake investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to cease his, uh, cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated, and released several months later, having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical license has been permanently revoked. So yeah, no, Hartman was a, uh, was a abusive asshole. Hartman. See. Oh. 
I see you, asshole. Aha! There you are! Yeah! How do you like that? Well, that got rid of them. At least for now. And... A shoom. Find and interact. Uh, find and interact with the arcade machine altered item. All right, but before we do that, let's go explore this place now that it's uh, properly lit up and see if we can get any more info. Well, yeah, no, Hartman was already an abusive monster, but uh, yeah, looks like the uh, darkness has kind of made that a little bit more literal. Let's see, door appearance. Ocean View Motel observation report. An excursion into the Ocean View Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the hall in the lobby hallway. The door featured a spiral shaped marking, destination door similar to the other doors, as locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in the Bright Falls AWE, referred to AWE 35 for details, and the former life of missing Arthur Alan Wake, a suspected peri-utilitarian and direct uh, and director candidate. Contacted Agent Shaw and Dempsey at the investigation sector using the phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Mrs. Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview. For full transcript, refer to file on, on 2017. The excursion into the Ocean View Motel occurred the same day. Conclusion. Determining whether this was a basic synchronicity event... If Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AW35, is paramount. She should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even taken into the motel itself to confirm if any other changes occur. So yeah, Alice is apparently now working with the Bureau and is inside the Ocean View Motel. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, a K. Not an N. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes you look smart. And I thought if I look smart, I'll get listeners. My podcast would take off, and I could live out my parents' basement, and maybe even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. Yeah, movie night. 
So what? The movie itself was an altered item or something? Hmm. Let's see. Case files. Vending, uh, vending machine procedures. Acquisition date. Uh, let's see. June 11, 2017. Containment procedure. None, none known. Testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. A vending machine is spread covered in a full wood panel. Coin operated buns for selecting food products. The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise, in its row and its internal trays. Internal initial testing suggests the item re reacts to the mind of the individual in closest proximity and will produce whatever they subconsciously desire. Attempts to con the, uh, cause the item to create a living being have consistently failed. Background: The item was discovered in a nursing uh, was discovered in a nursing home in Alberta after a resident named Muriel. Call a local news station about a magic vending machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff was purposefully stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way to raise resident spirits. The Bureau response team encouraged the story while confiscating the item. Let's see, Brian Hennerman interrogation. Okay, this room is really intimidating and all. But I know my rights. It's not a crime to try and get a book signed. Making unauthorized contact with a dangerous paranatural entity is indeed a bureau offense, Mr. Langston, and can be prosecuted as such. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. Listen, this is being blown way out of proportion. All that happened is I heard Dr. Hartman had been brought in and... Since I'm a huge Alan Wake fan, I thought it'd be cool to get a copy of The Creator's Dilemma signed. Uh, that's a book that Hartman wrote about... We know what it is. Okay, uh, good. So yeah, I was just looking to fill out my Wake collection. I certainly didn't know Hartman had turned into some kind of shadow zombie. That's a completely inaccurate description. Whatever, listen, I'm just a desk jock. I sort papers, do data entry, that kind of stuff. Don't come down on me like this. I made one mistake. I mean, I see people break the rules all the time and no one is pulling them into dark rooms to yell at them. Yesterday, Dave Gleason and his crew were talking to that empty spacesuit and laughing their heads off. We're letting you off with a warning, Mr. Langston. But this is going on your record, so one more screw up and our next chat won't be so friendly. Great, that is just great to hear, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. Hey, is there any chance I could get my copy of the Creator's Dilemma back? No! Ah, oh, jeez, Hartman, you... Okay, Hartman, just... Okay, Langston, just how much of a schmuck are you? Yeah, you know, Hartman is there. He's uh, obviously uh, been connected with the Alan Wake incident, and you just think, Oh, I'm just going to get his autograph. Ugh. Oh, what's this now? Like said, interrogation. Let's see. Night Spring screenplay, page one. No, the screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired the Night Springs television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Episode Over the Threshold Darkly by Alan Wake. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us, even more so to possess them. But what happens when these forces are not ours to claim, or even of this world? What if they are things you could discover in Night Springs? Well, let's see, secret lab. We are in a secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads, The Federal Bureau of Night Springs. I told you several times, Director, it isn't ready. It's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. But the beam beyond the portal, we have no control over it. Oh, that sounds eerily similar to the par uh, to the Bureau. Ugh, I could definitely see why they would... Yeah. Interesting. All right, well, I'm going to call it a day, and... Um, yeah, apparently Hartman's turned into an evil shadow monster. Well, might as well just relax a little bit by playing that arcade game. And I'm pretty sure that there's not... I mean, I'm sure that there's nothing wrong with that arcade machine whatsoever. <laughs> All right, call it a date. Let's see. Till next time, folks. This is David on David's Brain. Stay inside, stay safe, wear a mask, get vaccinated. Bye-bye.